lived by these and they've helped me so much and the first one is to go home when you can see your family see your friends back home holidays you can go home and every now and then you'll have a long weekend or you have a weekend where you don't have a lot going on if you know I have an eight-hour drive and I went home more than I thought I would this year and so the biggest thing is go home have your families come up just visit spend time with them because they keep you sane they're how you got here they support you and that really helps and the second thing with being an international student is to get involved. Make friends here. Hang out here. Get involved with the frat. Do sports if you like sports. Join the bovine club if you like cows. Like, just get out there and do stuff because it'll really help form those friendships and find out, you know, your net group of friends that you like to hang out with and like to be with. And the more things you get involved in, the more people you meet. And it's just is such an essential thing with being so far from home. Mm -hmm. Not being able to go home all the time to see my family, like I rely on the friends that I have here to be like my family. So when I have a problem, I'll call one of them or go go to one of them and I don't know, that would be my number one tip would be to just be yourself and become friends with people who are like you and that can help you. So I agree with all three of those as well as I would say make sure, like I, I actually said it before, but make sure you even, you know, the time you spend studying and the time you spend relaxing mm -hmm. because yeah. I know personally I would go crazy if I sit in my room and study yeah. 24 hours a day, seven days a week without doing something, not necessarily going to a bar or anything like that, but maybe just like going to do an interview or a sport or, you know, mm -hmm. hanging out with friends or Watch just kind of going out to dinner. Play yeah. Play video games. Like yeah. you will do <laughs> so fine if you study properly and you go to your classes you will know the material and personally I found like going into exams I didn't feel as confident as I thought I would but then you like we all know the material it's just you have to build up your confidence to make you make yourself realize you actually do know this yeah. you actually are smart you actually will get through this program and become a veterinarian yeah no one fails first year everyone sits around the night before the exam and says I don't know anything for this test trust me you are not the only one <laughs> yeah. who doesn't know anything for this test because nine times out of ten every other single one of your classmates is sitting at home in their desk chair saying the exact same thing mm -hmm. and we all make it through we help each other and you'll be fine mm -hmm. you're not alone we're all from similar growing up and going through similar difficulties to get here and in a lot of regards similar personalities too and it, it works well for working with them and just trying to mesh out all the assignments and all the studying but definitely have good balance too because it can go either way if you're too too big on playing and too big on fun content might not be going as good, but if you're just too big on studying, you're going to stress yourself out and burn yourself out. So having good friends and incorporating them with the balance just helps out so much.